Hello everyone, I hope you're doing great. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can draw comparison between two groups uh, like private and state schools with regard to lacquer type items ranging from strongly agree to strongly disagree or vice versa. So I'm going to be using spaces and there are in fact different ways. Uh, especially through contingency tables, chi-square, Fisher or Fisher's exact test. If you want to go beyond descriptive stats to include inferential stats, but I'm going to show you a straightforward approach by going to analyze, and then we are going to go to tables, and then custom tables. So what I have to do is that I need to for instance, move the type of school, this one, to the columns box. And the other variables need to be moved. So in this case, we have, I try to exclude our language use. And our language use helps learner or learners express their cultural and linguistic identity more easily. So let's spot the first one. So I try to exclude. Okay, so it's this one. I try to exclude. And the last one, this is the opportunities for learners. So I think I can move the rows, I keep rows like this, default options, row variables. For the summary statistics, I can choose the percentage. Uh, I use frequencies only when the sample size is very small and the percentages may be deceptive. So I can proceed with the uh, percentage because, or the percentages because the sample size is more than 100 respondents. So I click OK and here is the output. So this is the same output that I have just showed to you on this pdf what can be done is that we can just paste this table here and we start looking at the relationships that hold between different lacquer type items along with state and private schools along with other schools as well so as you can see here private schools make use of our language more than state schools and this is an interesting finding because quantitative data just tells us the frequencies and status quo, but we don't know why we can use even other data to support this. Um, sometimes even the data analysis uh, should be reviewed uh, by looking at previous studies, just like looking at the literature, like this study. And you can apply the same approach, like you can highlight the items that received more agreement or you can make them in bold so that they are visible. So here we have strongly disagree for private schools and strongly agree. So this one, as you can see, so mostly strongly agree with these items for private schools. So private schools allow the use of L1 more than state schools. So this is like the main finding that can be drawn from, from this study. Percentages are very clear to be interpreted. They do not require technical knowledge, they are straightforward. Uh, if there are questions or remarks, do not hesitate to post them below or contact me via one of my social media attached below and see you soon in another tutorial bye for now